The pledges came at a summit in Brussels of 32 leaders and 60 delegations meant to show political, development and security support for the five countries in the Sahel. The European Union will double its support to the joint force and we will also have further contributions from the member states and other partners. I will announce the total figure later once the partners have made the announcements. I would like to highlight something important. It's not just about security, it's also about development. Security has deteriorated in the Sahel since 2011, with extremist attacks a regular occurrence. More than 1,100 people have been killed since 2014, nearly 400 of them last year. Al-Qaeda in the Islamic Maghreb is considered the most active of around eight groups operating there. We need to support these five countries, especially to give also hope to the next generations and to the youth, and that they have also a future in their own country. At the donor conference of about 50 countries, including the United States, Japan and Norway, some 414 million euros was pledged for the G5 Sahel Force. Il est évidemment entendu. It is obviously understood that no international action, no matter how strong it is, can substitute the efforts of the countries of the region. By organizing via the G5 a global vision to respond to the multidimensional challenges that these groups' countries are faced with, we will have accomplished useful work in the fight against terror. The political will and firm commitment of this region constitutes the walls of this fight. EU has invested more than $9.8 billion in development aid in the Sahel for 2014 to 2020. Part of that is in self-interest as the EU seeks to ease burden by tackling the root cause of migration. While migrants' arrival through Libya have dropped, more than 120,000 people still left for European shores from there last year. Susan Mongeli, CGTN.